music, Miss Christine Holland. Thank you. Well, hello, Miss Christine. Hello, welcome back to the stage here. If you did, would you do so? Tell us a little bit about yourself the online viewers who may have just been tuning in for the first time. I'd like to know who you are and exactly what type of monologue you would do for us this evening. Thank you. Um, Christine Renee Farley. I've been acting since I was eight years old. Uh, tonight I am doing a monologue that is uh, written by Adam C. Thomas of Madhouse Pictures in Louisville, Kentucky. An original monologue tonight. Uh, you can uh, contact him if you're interested in his work at uh, madhousepins at gmail.com for future reference. Um, you can also find me on Facebook, MySpace, all that good stuff, and keep up to date with what I got going on. All right, without any further ado, Miss Christine Crowley, real actress or loser, which one are you? Because of her, I sit at my desk every day, consumed by a world of ones and zeros. I sit unable to concern myself with anything about the outside world, about the inside world, about the lack of food in my apartment, about the empty gas tank in my car. Well, none, none of these things really matter to me. I am a slave to my emotions, or rather, lack of thereof. I can get my job back. My boss did call and say that I could have my job back if I wanted it, but I don't want it. I don't, I don't want to eat. I don't want to sleep. I don't want to do anything but sit and stumble my way across the world by web. I find things to do, uh, little games, here, funny videos there, but nothing truly entertains me. Nothing invigorates me anymore. She ruined me like nothing I could ever imagine. She meant more to me than anything has ever meant. She was the reason I opened my eyes in the morning. The reason I tried to be a better person. Started going to the doctor. Started getting better. Started having a life. Then she changed. Started ignoring my calls, ignoring my texts, my emails, my Facebook messages, everything. When I would ask her why, she would shrug her off, say she was busy. Busy? That's an excuse. There was someone else. Couldn't prove it, but I knew it. Things were lining up. And I'm a logical enough person to see the truth and the truth. Set her free. Her body now rots beneath my house, her head caved in with a claw hammer. And I. Sit at my desk, confined in my world of ones and zeros, because of her. Thank you. Wow, you 